I want you to raise your hands. Raise your hands. Raise your hands. Shake them out. We're gonna do a game, okay? This game's gonna. This game's very important. It's gonna take four minutes. It's so so important, okay? Are you ready? You gotta play the rules. There's rules to this game. All right. I'm gonna give you 30 seconds to read each of these paragraphs. Don't worry. I'm gonna make it much larger. All right. Uh, you got 30 seconds to read the paragraph, and when you're done, I want you to type in. Uh, I want you to type in the main idea. Uh, give me a yes if you're okay with this game. Give me a yes. I'm going to play. I'm ready to play. Okay, here we go. Here's the first paragraph. You have 30 seconds. 30 seconds to read it. Go. Yes. Yes. Give everyone another couple seconds. Now type something in. What's it about? Yeah, I'm going to circle that word right here. Our main idea right here, school reform. This is about school reform. Who agrees? Okay, it, and we have school reform now. And what are our, what what are the different ideas in addition to school reform? It talks about school reform. It mentions a couple different ideas here. What what about school reform? What's one type of school reform? Knowledge base, right? I, I guess I'll call that A. And another one is what? Social emotional development. That's B, and then we said we said the last one's what? It's knowledge base, and then this study here is C. So if we are writing a so if we are writing a a summary here, it would be about school reform, and it would involve uh, A, B, and C. So that would be it's about school reform having to do with this debate on knowledge-based information and social uh, social student-centered learning and how these studies say that they're, they complement each other. Okay, all right, I'm just thinking main idea, supporting supporting ideas. This is the summary sentence. So this is taking this one paragraph and boiling it into one sentence. Does it identify the main idea, school reform? Does it incorporate? Does it incorporate uh, um, the sub ideas? Does it incorporate our, our A, our B, and uh, the C? There's our our A. Okay, our, our our B and our C. Okay, what you want to remember when you, when you write this one sentence? Okay, you want to make sure that you have the main idea. And you want to make sure that you hit, use the phrases of at least the, the, the other supportive major things that are going to be here. Let's go to the next one. This next paragraph and this, this four paragraph thing should be about what? This, uh, the next paragraph should be about what? What's our A? Knowledge base. Okay, good. You got one minute. Go. One minute. Read it over. Hi, team. This is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. If you like this video, press the like button below or subscribe to our channel. This allows us to do more videos for teachers on their teacher certification exams. And if you need additional help, you can come and check out a Go Academy workshop or webinar or tutoring. You go to www.goacademy.com. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.